Hey guys, it's the Lord Owls here, and I have just woken up and found a package waiting for me. So this is what we've been waiting for for a little while now. I pre-ordered this on Amazon, so I'm really happy that I got it the same day of the release. That's that's really cool. Amazon's really on top of it. I don't usually pre-order my decks on Amazon. Um, I usually try to pre-order straight through Llewellyn or whatever, but this time I did, and I got it the same day. Beautiful packaging. It's matte and metallic. All that. Again, she has some of the best, like, boxes. From lead to gold, the secret sealed. Patience more will be revealed. I like that. And, of course, her beautiful books. They look just like all of her other books. I love that level of consistency. They're all going to look great on the shelf. Yeah, this book looks really cool. I want to show you guys the table of contents. Table of contents. So it looks like going straight into the cards. Nice. Okay. Cool. All right. Let's get into the cards now. Oh, this box is cool. I did get my link for the webinar today. Uh, so Kim Kranz's free webinar uh, is going to be on July 10th at 4 p.m. Eastern time. So that would be 3 p.m. my time. These are 71 cards. These are what the backings look like. Very like crushed velvet look. All right, so I like the hexagon though, really do. I really like the feel of these cards. These are very, very matte. They feel slightly different than the other cards, but not so different that the finish is going to uh, make the cards incompatible at all. But the finish is slightly different. Oh, I love Pluto. It looks so good. Oh, cool. She has Chiron on here, too. All right, now we've gotten out of celestial bodies. Hmm. Make sure the cards aren't stuck together. Fred is very upset that I shut the door. <laughs> oh, wow, the summer card is also really pretty. All of these cards are just so, like... Yeah, her art has definitely kind of peaked with this deck. I am very sad that she announced that this will be the last uh, Wild Unknown uh, deck in the series, but maybe she will work on more things deck-related, or maybe she's just going to focus on... Uh, I know that she's done some books. Either way, I'm really, I'm really pleased with the art on this deck already. It is so beyond anything that I have.
Okay, we've got an out of metals. I think. I don't know what antimony is. Oh, no, we're still in materials, but out of metals, because I know what sulfur is. Oh, that is two cards stuck together. Hold on. There we go. Schmuck. Yeah, I cannot wait to bite into this book. Oh my goodness. We'll be doing some cursory flip throughs of the book. Ooh, this breath card this is so gorgeous. Had to push my glasses up, sorry. Blood. Sap of the moon plant. Interesting. Oh, the void. Yeah, I'm really, really digging this, this artwork. Chaos. I really, really like the artwork on this card. Earth's heart. Yeah, I don't know a lot about alchemy. I have just a, a vague understanding of it and its purpose, right? Alchemy isn't one of the things that I've gone uh, headlong into studying, right? So this will be a really, really fun adventure in this deck, learning more about something that I don't actually know about. Love it. Oh, wow. I love this synchronicity card here. It's great. Calcification. Ooh. I definitely like this one. Oh, 
Oh, little spider. You guys know how I love spiders. And the last card, conjunction. Nice. Yes, this, this deck is, is really, really nice. Let's see how it shuffles. <laughs> I am very curious to see how this will shuffle. All right, so first I want to get all the cards back into their hexagonal shape. And let's just, yeah, this is really, oh, hey, okay. If I hold it like this, oh, that's doable. Okay, that's, that's more doable. It's a little bit clunky, but once my hands get used to it, I'm sure it'll be all right. I can't help but wonder if you can riffle these. Huh. I will try to riffle these. Just trying to make sure I divvy them up properly. Like I said, the shape is just a little bit clunky, but I think that we can we can work with it once we're used to dealing with cards of this shape. You feel me? Okay. Doable. Doable. Okay, that's cool. I did the thing. Yeah, I think that once uh, once I break these cards in a little bit more, they're not going to be so, um, not sticky, but you know, like they kind of want to fall into sections and then stay within those sections. Yeah, I think that that'll go away once I break them in. But you guys do know I'm going to do an update video with some reviews and things like that. I definitely want to do a review after um, I read the book and after Kim Kranz's webinar. You know, let's see, let's have some luck here because I'm only 13 minutes in. So let's spend the last two minutes just looking through here and seeing what we have. Yeah, this is a lot. Uh, 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 we're getting into the readings. Okay, here's some spreads. There are a ton of spreads for this deck. Love it. And then we get into the meanings of the cards. You know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that spider. Where's the spider at? Ha, ha, ha. Oh, I know that's chaos. Oh, well, let's read chaos. And by all means, pause to read.
love it. Yeah, I am, I am very excited about this. Okay, I hope that you guys are excited as I am. I hope that you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, well, not review, more unboxing. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Uh, if you did, please hit like and subscribe so you can see more of my unboxing content. Um, Kim Kranz is definitely someone that I keep up with for forever. I love her artwork. And again, I'll be doing a review of the deck and my thoughts on it. And I will be doing that webinar on July 10th. I hope that everyone who pre-ordered um, got their email today. And... Um, Hope to see you guys at the webinar. Until next time, happy dabbling and bye-bye.